Hey, it's Stacia D. And it's Jay Stan. Welcome back to In Retrospect Podcast, where we look beyond the surface to find understanding. Bring you laughs, knowledge, and culture. So sit back, relax, and join the convo. How have you been? I've been good, you know, living life, as they say. Trying to, you know, plan new things, new trips, new events I want to go see. You know, Rod Wave is about to drop his concert dates tomorrow, which would be October. Not October. It is October. Is it October? It is October. October uh, uh, the 5th, Wednesday, tomorrow. Rod Wave will be dropping pre-sale tickets. So, yeah, I'm going to try to catch me a show, see what's going on, make it do what it do. Uh, and hopefully do some international traveling and come the new year. I don't know about this year, but we're going to see. <laughs> <laughs> How did the hurricane, did the hurricane mess you up at all? Because I know uh, hurricane. the hurricane was crazy. I'm over here in South Carolina right now, Charleston specifically. Uh, it could have got really bad. We didn't get the worst of it. We got the back end of it. A lot of flash flood, like warning stuff flooded out pretty bad in Georgetown, South, uh, South Carolina. Uh, but we didn't get it that bad. It, it curtailed and turned out. But if it really were coming towards us, we would have been in trouble. All of downtown Charleston, South Carolina would have been underwater, along with parts of James Island. It would have been bad. They would have had to bump yeah. the city out. <laughs> most, so of my, get bad. most of my family lost power, at least for a couple of hours, if not a day. So, like yeah. you said, we didn't lose any power with my animal here on Johns Island, North Johns Island to be specific. So I'm doing well. You don't know what that is. <laughs> That's fine. No, no That's shade. Okay. Okay. I'm proud of where I'm from. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um so atlanta didn't get any rain it's just been chilly here in the morning and then it's, the sun is out so i'm ready to fall rod wave also he's too sad for me like his music it just it's just too sad i don't think i could do a concert of just him it's not just him they got uh mariah the scientist and don't get me wrong i might pronounce buddy name wrong Tusi. I've heard the name. It seems love cycle. Oh, okay. I was supposed to be going yeah. to see Kevin Hart um, in two weeks, I think. Two weeks, three weeks. You sound, you sound so excited about it, I must say. I'm just, <laughs> he's, he's hilarious. He's hilarious. He's my favorite comedian, but I mean, hey. Yeah. <laughs> One of my favorites <laughs> is called Let's Unpack This, where either you guys send in letters and we give you advice, or we cover some of the hot topics in the news. And so what we're going to do is going to put a little spin on this, all right? So for this, let's unpack this. We're going to tell you the stories. And then we're going to talk as if these people are our friends. And what advice or what will we say to these people? It might be difficult, though, but we'll see. What? <laughs> no, go ahead. This is going to be good. Don't shake your head. Okay. So first up is Mr. <laughs> West, Kanye West. He had uh fashion show in paris for fashion week and uh i think the last day of it him and candace owens came out in these oversized shirts that said white lives matter on the back they're cheesing from air to air and they posted onto social media um what would you say to him what, what what were your thoughts on that yeah everybody's entitled to their own opinion <laughs> But there's nothing you can say to somebody like Ye, formerly known as Kanye, because he's going to just say whatever and everybody's just going to eat it up regardless. It just gets to the point where you really look at all these situations and all these celebrities or public figures, you, you uh, people call them, and you just think to yourself, like, did they really just say that or did they really just agree to terms with that or did they really just vote for that? And it really just makes you think sometimes, like, maybe sometimes people just are doing stuff so they have their names in the tabloids or in the news because a lot of folks will say that you know any publicity is good publicity good nor bad because the unfortunate truth is these folks gonna make money regardless as long as their names stay in the news they're gonna make money because you gotta understand a lot of these folks are a brand and unfortunately they're just trying to get their names out there sometimes but in this particular instance with kanye he just uh i guess there's different ways he could have gone about it i guess expressing himself uh not you know making other folks mad but unfortunately you're not gonna always make people happy in this world uh or make them agree with you um his whole the whole gist or the reason he wore it was he said that the black lives matter movement was a scam it was a scam that's the reason he wore the shirt essentially that's what he got 
He said everybody knows that the Black Lives Matter was a scam. That that was the reason behind the shirt. Well, so what are your thoughts, Deja D? <sighs> now, Candace Owens, I can't speak on that. Now, I don't I don't know too much I about mean, her. I don't know her her uh, you know ideology behind her reasoning. I just know that's what you know Kanye put out. She's a well known <laughs> conservative, and so she always has something to say. And a lot of a lot of times it's something negative about black people. And she's black herself, but whatever. Um, A, it would be hard to talk to Kanye as if we were friends because it would be difficult for me to be friends with somebody and we just don't morally align. That's the first thing. Second, if you were to go to a circus, would you be shocked to see clowns? That, oh, that's that's yeah. Oh, if you, nah, if you, I don't think anybody would be shocked to see a clown. Correct. No popcorn. So I don't I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why people are shocked by the things that Kanye does at this point. I mean, literally just a few years ago, he said slavery was a choice. So it still baffles me that people still spend their hard earned dollars to buy Yeezys. First of all, Yeezys look like a prison slipper. Let's just start there. They don't look cute. They're not attractive. I don't understand why people continue to support somebody who is so white identified. The only time this man wants to, the black community to rally around him is when he has an issue with Miss Kim. That's it. Any other time he's doing dumb shit like that. Like I said. Also, <laughs> you're talking about him saying Black Lives Matter is a scam. Okay, whatever. It's not about the organization itself. It's about the statement itself, which is Black Lives Matter. For you, as a black man who is well known, who has millions of fans to go and wear something that will be mocking Black Lives Matter is just preposterous. We already know white lives matter. Our justice system shows us that. Add Kanye to the list of people that irritate me <laughs> that are in the. I feel like there's a lot of folks. I feel like there's a lot of folks that irritate you, but I will it say really this. Uh, it really uh, my whole thing with Kanye that was just like that wasn't the best way to go about expressing your ideals. But I mean, at this point, is you know where he's at. He's accumulated so much to this point. You know, a lot of people when they start to get, you know, a level of success and everything starts to work in their favor with, you know, like I said, all that success. They just start to become numb to how to go about how stuff is perceived or presented to folks. Because I'm pretty sure he has a publicist that probably was like trying yes. to tell him no. And he was like, he's going to do what he wants at the end of the day. Because regardless, he is a self-made what, billionaire or whatever. So essentially, like I said, when it comes to those levels of success, a lot of folks think it's either their way or the highway because they got to where they're at acting the way they acted so i'm not condoning any of the behavior first and foremost i'm just saying that you start to notice that a lot of folks do stuff like that and it's because nobody is really there to tell them like yo that's not okay and they're not going to listen because they've already achieved that level of success but kanye should you know in my opinion know better with the you know what everything that's going on in the world nowadays with all these black folks but this character that not, he's not. presenting is not who he always has been. It's not. He just started <laughs> acting like this publicly in the last couple of years. That's not who he's. That's not who he was known to us to be. That's not how he presented himself until these last couple of years. Well, so, like I always say we don't really, from my understanding, folks that he been like this, folks that are close to him or been close to the situation. This ain't nothing new. Cause I watched this documentary, like this ain't nothing new. We just seeing all of this. Like this, apparently this has all been here before. That's why I tell folks all the time when you see these, you know, people on the TV screens, you go to folks concerts and all this good jazz, you might be a fan of their music, their art or whatever their content they're putting out. You don't truly know these folks. And it's just, it's just the reality of the situation that you want better. You think they know better, but essentially they not going to know better or do no better than you want them to do. Cause you can't. It's hard for folks to try to put their <laughs> ideals on folks. Be like, why didn't you doing this? Why didn't you doing that? Because they never align with what you agree with. It's gonna start showing eventually after they're in the limelight for enough time that you start to see who how people truly are, I and just, whether you're gonna agree with what they're gonna agree with or not. But I mean, essentially, he's to the point now where 
he gonna do what he want to do. That's fine. Like, I just, I just he, wish, that, just, those, I just wish that those those black people who are so white identified and want to be validated by white people go be with them. Go be with them. And when something happens, when you experience an injustice, go see how many of them are going to speak out for you. Go see how many of them are going to march in the streets for you. That's it. If you are so white identified, go be with them. And that's why I would leave that at. Even Boosie. Even Boosie said something to Kanye like, man, you tripping. And you know, I know that I've said previous things about him, but a broken clock can be right twice a day. Moving on, in other rapper news, Joe Budden, who is a rapper and podcaster, was on a podcast a few days ago. And he, I guess, was talking about past days and ex sexual experiences. And he admitted that um, there have been numerous amount of times that he has pretended to put on a condom, but did not. And then, in fact, had sex. Or he would purposely buy condoms that were super thin so that he could try to rip through them. Um, what would you say to your homeboy if he admitted that to you? You going to jail? <laughs> <laughs> you going to jail? If she find out, and you ain't right. That's all I can say. I mean, I could try to tell him, like, yo, you got to stop that, but it's the, I'm, that's wild. That, that's wild. Yeah. Hey, I've seen a lot of wild stuff as of late. Like, for some, I don't know what trend this is, but folks that do stuff like that, along the lines of that, all of a sudden, I'm going to go on camera and I'm going to tell the world. I'm going to just go tell all my business. Something that could possibly... Send me to jail. Cause that could send you to jail, brother. <laughs> and I don't know. I, I'm just that's like I said earlier. When folks start to reach a level of status and they start getting a little success, they think they are numb or above <laughs> the law, <laughs> as yeah. well as everything that makes society somewhat stable, because society ain't stable. And they just start doing whatever. And first and foremost, that's that is not good. That's not. There's nothing good about that. It's not even. I'm. I'm not even. I, I really don't find it funny. I'm laughing because I'm just in disbelief, really. Because yeah. it's really wild that he would get on a pod in front of a camera in general and just admit something like that. So essentially, all those women that he dealt with in some capacity could file something if they wanted to. Yeah. So, not only did you get on whatever you was on in front of the camera and admit it, if this were to be taken into a court of law, I mean, brother, what are you going to say? They agreed to me taking whatever off and doing whatever? Come on, dog. Ain't it's nobody been just, there? It's also just gross. I mean, in, in simplest terms, it's gross. I mean, if you are not, if you're having sex with multiple people and they're having sex with multiple people, you are exposing yourself and that person to so many different things and statistics are out, <laughs> okay? Like the numbers are rising for STDs. So yeah. I, yeah, I don't have up. Yeah, yeah. Up, up, higher than ever before. I don't have to add to what you up, said. Up, up, uh, it's taking off. It's wild out here. I mean, y'all be safe, man. And all y'all folks out here, y'all in a relationship, man, more power to you. But I just say one thing, man. It's scary hours out here. Folks in relationships aren't even in relationships, really. <laughs> it's I mean, crazy always out here. You can be celibate until you, you know, get serious. I understand something. what you're saying, but what I'm getting at is it's, it's crazy out here, man. If you don't want to be with that person, leave that person. I'm going to just leave it at that. It's wild out here. Quit trying to make stuff work if it's not working. I understand y'all might be living a. I ain't got nothing to do with that. I ain't got no comment like on you that. You said if you don't want to be with somebody, don't be with them. Shout out to them. Uh, that message well, was for them. I have nothing to do with that. <laughs> Just saying. I have nothing to do with that. What other uh, rapper was in the news? You said what? What other rapper was in the news? There's a lot of rappers in the news right now. I mean, you still got the whole, you know, situation where the Atlanta DA is still trying to lock, or is not trying, is locking folks up for the whole RICO charges. Um, so, I mean, a lot of folks are getting 
rounded up is the best word to say rounded up and she ain't playing around it's like it's like right now what's going on you have a, a black mayor and you have a, a black woman black man mayor in as mayor and a black woman as da in charge of the da and basically what they're saying is y'all not gonna do that in our house y'all better go carry that somewhere else all this crime back and forth going you know bickering everybody i'm gonna get my lick back you know running up doing all these violent crimes they're not going for that they bring you in they're giving you time they're not playing with you and they already said and she was very clear about it she said y'all can talk all that stuff on this music if you want that's cool but you're not gonna be doing it in my county <laughs> so california said otherwise and she said go ahead you can do it wherever you want just not here and they ain't playing around it's like they're working in cahoots to get they ain't playing around that's all i say all this music everybody getting on the tracks admitting all their crimes <laughs> better stick to abc rap my brothers and sisters because i've seen a or lot of women substance. how about that huh or rap with substance how about that i don't know about all that you know some people like that rico music so you know it's hard for them to turn off that rico music you, you got a fan base that's built off you you strictly rapping about spinning the block twice trying to make sure that you're going around beating up folks doing this that and the third and all of a sudden <clears throat> you call yourself trying to become a conscious rapper i don't know how well it's gonna go over with your fan base to be completely honest i'm not saying you have to be a conscious rapper i feel like there can be a happy medium you can discuss the things that you have done in the past but sir don't go into so many details to the point where you're incriminating yourself that's that's not I smart i don't see it i don't see, me personally i don't see it I don't see how they can do that. I mean, because if, they, if they've been doing this for years, oh, would TI? Huh? I said, would TI be a good example of that? Somebody who's well, talking about the things that he's done, but he's not sitting there saying, "I did this on this day and that happened." Like, well, I feel like he's toned down a lot since he went to jail, but it's neither here nor there. I just know that there's not too many rappers that are only just rapping about getting money. Like, if you want to talk about getting money, that's fine. All this. I chop them up, I kick them in the face, pull them at the club, did this, that, and the third, drive by this, drive by that. It's not, it's not proactive. You incriminating yourself, you go into jail. You go into jail. That's why a lot of people like gravitate towards Drake, Lil Baby. Um, oh, there's a couple other rappers that I'm missing out. Uh J. Cole, Kendrick. uh Kendrick as well. That's why you see folks start to gravitate towards them because they don't continuously talk about that. And in the crazy reality of the situation is a lot of folks that are rapping about this stuff all the time aren't even have never lived that life at all and a lot of folks would be surprised that's why when <clears throat> you listen to a lot of these you know documentaries or folks speak on stuff indirectly within the industry that a lot of folks don't realize like hey you're living a lot better than most of your favorite rappers so the reason they're eating or doing all this that and the third you go into their shows you doing you buying merchandise from them that's how they're getting by and surviving <laughs> people really don't realize that they are doing a lot better than their favorite rappers that's the crazy part yeah uh what's going on with akon oh yeah, yeah. so akon stopped by on the uh young job radio show uh and he had a, a interesting i wouldn't say it was interesting but he had a very he brought a concept to light that a lot of folks don't really look at look at it like look at it like this or they probably do they just don't talk about it a lot and the concept i'm talking about is akon came on the show and he said in africa that if you were to have a child with said person that technically you would be identified as that person's wife or husband he said that the wife or husband title is uh in a sense an american or western civilization type ideal it's a title versus if you have a child with that person with a person that you are linked together that's your wife or your husband for life hmm. your thoughts <clears throat> uh i mean i don't know how to feel about that because they also are polygamous there so it's like they a man could have kids with 10 women so he now has 10 wives but she can't have 10 husbands I don't feel like it benefits the woman at all. No, she got 10 husbands if she have 10 churn. 
Yeah, but that's not you don't see polyandry as much as you as much as you see polygamy. Let's just be real. And that's across the world. You don't. Well well, there's a reason for that, Dash. There's a reason for yeah, that. Yeah, because y'all can't <laughs> Huh? Y'all cannot handle that. Can't handle what? What do you mean? We can we know we don't have children is a what I'm wife saying. Who has you a don't have an additional husband or two. It's not even that. What I'm getting at is, well, I mean, I understand what you're trying to say, but what I'm saying is, is that the reason why you don't see as much as that is based off the ideology that he is saying that if you have to have a child with said person, women are the ones that are birthing the children. And it takes a process for said child to even arrive in the world. And that whole process in itself changes one's body from my understanding. I get that, but I, what I'm saying is, I don't, okay, I think someone's initial thought would be, well, if that was happening in America, then maybe people would be careful about who they have a child with, but I don't think that's necessarily true, because even in Africa, a man can still have multiple wives, so it doesn't really matter who he has a child with, but it might not work the same for her, so Coming over here, obviously, it doesn't matter to us. Nick Cannon and NBA Young Boy just welcome their tenth child, so it, <laughs> I feel like people are going to continue to procreate with whoever they want to. I don't think that people, some people, uh, value partnership or value marriage as much as others. I just don't. I mean, there's a rapper uh, that has like 21 different baby mothers. Who's so, it's Jay Fizzle for PRE, Paper Rod Entertainment. Yeah, he did an interview with, um, uh, I can't remember the name, I don't want to mess it up, but Off the Porch with uh, Off the Porch. So, definitely look that up. So, he definitely has that. So, I mean, it's it's out there. But like I said, you don't see a lot of that, in my honest opinion, <clears throat> with women having a bunch of husbands. I mean, I guess I guess what you're saying is on the from your stance is saying that it's because men can't handle women to have a bunch of husbands is why you don't see a lot of it is what you're saying i don't think yeah no i don't i don't oh yeah i don't think it's that me personally what do you think it is i already told you what i thought it was i told you it was because that that women have to birth the child and you're not going to sit in there you're going to have a bunch of kids i'm going off of the concept that akon said that if oh, you would say okay. a person say a person what he said you're not going to sit there and try to birth a bunch of kids to have multiple husbands. If that's the concept over there in, in Africa is based okay. off of, you're not going to sit there and try to birth a bunch of kids. Now on the American side of everything, uh, or the Western civilization side of everything or whatnot, um, that's probably so. You know, men do get heavy in the chest, hard of breathing when they do find out that said woman is messing with somebody else. <laughs> chest might get a little heavy you know you might not be able to handle yeah. it so i mean i mean that is always a possibility but then you do got some a, a rare breed of folks out there that just are not phased by anything and do not care and do not care that's the it is a free-for-all <laughs> um i mean i don't know i if i have a child plan to be with the person i'm having a child with so I mean, does that necessarily mean that everyone wants to get married or be attached to this person legally? No. But you kind of are in a sense because y'all will forever be connected because y'all have a child. Yep. But And every time that child has an event of some sort, somebody has to be there and you will more than likely run into each other more times than not. <laughs> I guess. Yeah. Um, anything else? <laughs> Uh, no, nah, I think we've covered a good bit uh, so far today. Okay. Well, I have been Daisha D. And I've been Jay Stan. Join us here every Friday at noon. And always remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Go back and watch some other episodes. Do it. Don't, man, come on now. Support yeah. us, man. Watch some episodes. Good content. You feel me? <laughs> also, we have a magazine article coming out about us soon, but we'll post that on Instagram. Go follow us if you don't follow us already. You know, so we'll run it up.